YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. We're gonna be doing a mid drop fade on my boy right here. I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to do a nice compressed blend and uh, the exact steps I do to achieve this type of look. Other than that, let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna grab your one and a half guard, lever fully closed, and start off by debulking the sides. You do wanna go all the way to his parietal ridge and do not go any higher than that. Just make sure everything underneath is cleaned up with the one and a half guard. Remember, keep the lever fully closed and just keep the blade flat as well. And do not try not to put a lot of pressure because we are gonna, we still have to connect the top to the bottom. Towards the back, you do want to drop it since we are gonna be doing a um, a drop fade and pretty much keep it underneath as our occipital bone. My client does have a lot of dips in his head, which is it's it's okay. Just whenever you gotta when you come across dips like this. You do want to keep the blade flat and go and close the blade a little bit more in the dips that way you guys can give it that optical illusion that it's the same length but in reality it's a little bit shorter in the dips so once we clean everything up with our one and a half guard once everything's down to that that guard we're going to come in the outer first initial ball the guideline these are my zero gap trimmers they are babyless i'm gonna have everything listed down below where you guys can get these trimmers too but we are doing a mid drop fade so you want to really exaggerate that drop on the on the first guideline because that's the way we're going to set up the blend do not be afraid to pull down your clients ears guys a lot of barbers are scared to do this thinking they're hurting your clients or their clients but in reality guys it, it does not hurt them or nothing just make sure you guys get every little hair that's around the ear the last thing you want is your client to go home and have all these hairs after he showers a bunch of baby hairs that's the worst thing ever next what you want to do is grab your shavers and go all the way down to skin and go all the way to the top do not be afraid guys just I recommend do not put heavy pressure on this or else that, that bottom line is going to be a little harder to take off but just go all the way to the top and just let the shaver do its work Next, what I do, I grab my half guard, lever fully closed on the clipper, and I create about an inch guideline. Just make sure your blade is flat, guys. Everything's down to the half guard, and just keep a nice, consistent, even, neat line or guideline. If you don't, if you're not neat with your guidelines, your blend's gonna be all over the place, and that's that's literally facts. As you get towards the back, you want to go a little bit bigger guidelines because it is a little more dense in the back and you still want to keep it under his occipital bone. That way you don't push it up really high and it just looks like a mess in the back and you wouldn't want that. Next, what you want to do is grab your, well, these are my Oster Fast Feeds. They do have a ceramic blade. The reason I use this, these clippers for the bottom line is because I can hear every little hair is grabbing and there's a lot of room for air with these clippers. I can go pretty high and it's not gonna take off the or it's not gonna make a crazy line as well. So I really love these clippers. I recommend them, but you can also use whatever clipper you would like and just pretty much just make sure you take off the bottom line. You you want to attack right on it. I only have to open it about a quarter and just use your corners and just take off every little dark spot you see. As you can see, I'm just barely opening about a quarter and that's all you really need. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is just open open the lever as much as you need to, even if you if you don't have the Oster Fast Feeds, if you're using a WAR or Andis or a, a, another babyless clipper, just go ahead and just open it as much as you need to and just make sure that bottom line's taken out.
before I do my next step, I do go in with my zero grab trimmers and I do make sure I get every little stubble that my clipper didn't get. Just to I'll make sure this line's butter underneath or else I, I can't go on to my next step because I wouldn't feel right. I gotta take out every little spot I see. Next, what you wanna do is grab your one guard, lever fully open, and now we're gonna start to sandwich the blend. We're gonna put the same, or the one guard, lever fully open, where we did the, the one and a half guard, lever fully closed. As you guys can see, the guidelines are right there, set up already. So you wanna go all the way to the top, no higher than where we did the one and a half. Just keep it open, keep the blade flat, and go all throughout his head. Right here, I close it halfway, and we're gonna go. We're gonna do basically the same thing, but just a little bit more underneath, and make sure the clip or the the blade is flat to his head. You guys don't want to really flick. Picture it as like if we're sanding down his his hair. Instead of really flicking out, we're sanding it. That way, we get that nice buttery effect. Lever is still halfway open right here. As you guys can tell, the blend is starting to come together on its own. It's starting to get you guys just got to be patient with this technique and then I fully closed it as you guys seen right there we're gonna attack right in the middle ghost line right there keep in mind guys this ain't gonna take out the, the line completely in some cases it might but in this case in the majority of the cases it's not gonna take it out unless he has really super light hair it might take it out if he has super light hair So next what you want to do is grab your half guard, lever fully closed, and with this step right here, you got to use your corners a lot. Basically, try not to use your full blade because you will push up the blend or just mess it up in general. So just use your corners and attack literally the, the dark spots you see and just, you can basically flick out more with this one. You don't got to keep the blade completely flat, but try to give it more of a flick. That way you don't push up the blend. As you guys can see, the little dark spots are coming out. I'm just using my corners, going right on it and flicking out. Once you see those little dark spots come out, guys, just leave it alone. Do not spend too much time on it because I promise you, you will push up the blend if you just spend a lot of time on it and just focusing on one little area. Go ahead and just every little dark spot you see, knock it out, flick it out, and that's it. Leave it alone. So this step, I do go in my number two guard, lever fully open, and I close it about a little notch. Honestly, you can just keep it fully open if you have to or if you want to, but just go straight up. We are connecting the top to the bottom. As you guys can see, I, I just make sure and go through it throughout his head. It's lighter in the back. It basically just needs it around his parietal ridge right there, and I just basically go straight up just to play it safe. and. Right after we do that, we come in with our one and a half guard, lever fully open, and then close about a quarter. We do the same thing. We're basically just lining up all the dark spots. So right here, what you see me doing, I did come in with my no guard and just played it and seen some little dark spots I, I missed. I'm just basically detailing the whole blend, just making sure everything I see is how I want it to be. On his lineup, I did add a little bit, little bit of hairspray just to make sure to lock, lock in the hairs. He does have a cowlick on the other side, or like his hair wants to like go up, so he didn't want it like pushed up too high. So we're basically just letting it grow out, get thicker a little bit, and just basically just cleaning up his baby hairs, nothing too crazy. On these type of edge ups, it is a little more tricky, guys, because his hair does want to wave up. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am not perfect, no one's perfect, so just work with what you can. As a, as a professional barber, just let him know what you think would fit his, his um, what would look better for him. Because a lot of people don't know what exactly what they want. And since his hair wants to curve up or go all over the place, like I recommend it just cleaning up his hairs and I'm pushing it up. That way, if I pushed it up, he didn't want too much of his forehead showing. So 
basically i just gave him my my part or like what i thought he should he should do and he he agreed with it and that's all you got to do sometimes with your clients that way um as you guys can see right there his edge up is it, it like wants to curve up so like basically i just cleaned it up and i imagined it was straight there and just connected it to the sides an edge up doesn't always got to be super perfect especially because of his hair growth pat pattern as you guys can see I just kept it pretty natural he does want to grow it out some more and see what we can do with it later on but keep in mind guys no one's perfect no one has the best set of hair every time someone sits in your chair so but i'm showing you guys like every type of different hairstyle that i get i don't always just have the crazy white scalps with the nice dark hair it's always different type of hairstyles guys so just in case you guys forgot what my client came in looking like this is the before this is how he sat in my chair and this is the after i think the cut came out super dope a nice simple drop fade nothing crazy just simple i hope you guys learned something in this video that you guys can take from this and apply it to your daily barber skills make sure you guys comment subscribe like hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video DM me on Instagram, follow me at, uh, at my Instagram, at my TikTok, at Noel Blends, and let me know what you guys want to see next week. Other than that, I'm Noel Blends, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.